Hello, Paul Gabry here for another installment of Ask ZBrush. So we had the question sent in to us, what does projection shell do? So you're going to be able to find the projection shell in the tool, subtool menu, and near the bottom of that you're going to see a project menu that you can click on and open up. And here's that slider right there. So this is really convenient for when you want to wrap or project one mesh into another. So I thought it'd be great to use a mannequin um, since we've discussed it in previous videos. So you can see we got this dog here. It's a nice looking mannequin. Now when you put this in preview mode by hitting A, you're now looking at the mesh itself. So I'm going to turn on polyframe mode. And what you can see here is every z-sphere is being replaced by a sphere and then every chain between the z-spheres is being replaced by this cylinder. Now what you have though is you start having a lot of overlapping geometry like you can see really well in here. So that's not the most ideal um, mesh to sculpt with. So of course we can just turn this into a Dynamesh and start going that. So I have that right here. You can see this dog, this blue dog is a Dynamesh. So it's nice and clean. It's got the form and shape of the mannequins. Now, what if we have a scenario where the red dog, like I have here, is nice and clean because the geometry is nice and clean, and I have to use this dog. I have to use this dog's geometry. So I want to show you how you can make the red dog project into the mannequin version gray dog and shrink it perfectly to it. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the projection shell because it comes in very handy for pieces like this. You can see when I turn on the red dog, you can see that there's a big difference between where the red dog is sitting right now and where that gray dog, that's the mannequin. So let's take a look at how we can project the red dog into the gray. So I'm going to click on that red one. I'm going to make sure only the gray dog is on because this is my source and this is my target. Again, the red is my target, the gray is my source. So I'm going to scroll down here to the projection area and I'm going to use this projection shell now. And you're going to see as I slide this to the right, this red dog is going to start inflating. So what I want to do is make sure there's nothing but red. That's all I want to see is red. And when I see that, I let go, and you'll see that that dog snaps back to its original state now. But what's really key to understand here is this inner button is now on in the projection. So what we've done is we've set a shell to actually tell ZBrush, this is where I want you to start looking at information to shrink the red dog to the gray dog. And since we inflated that red dog to be so much larger than the gray dog, it's only going to look at projecting inwards from that inflated state of the red dog. So I'm also going to turn up the distance all the way to one. So what this is, is think about it as like a fishing line. So the red dog's trying to match the gray dog. So it's casting out and looking for that gray dog. So I'm just telling it full strength, go ahead and cast out and really find that other dog. And now all I have to do is hit project all. And when the projection is done, you can see now the red dog matches exactly to what that gray dog was in the mannequin state. But now we're using that clean geometry that I had to use because this was already set up for me. And that's a great way of using projection shell. Thank you for watching and please continue to send in your questions to our Twitter account using the hashtag Ask ZBrush.